Hello, hello. Thank you so much for keeping up to the series to this point. And I want to thank the amazing patrons for sponsoring this series and you for supporting, seeing, watching, sharing, and however you like. So for this one, we're going to jump into the displays, but that's going to be just to mention it. The displays value, you just have to put an skin attribute, guide attribute, or texture attribute, and that will displace the information that we have here accordingly to the information of your texture input. This just is just a basic displace. Now we go to the wave. The wave is an important one. Why? Uh, it's not just on a per strand or a per guide level. It's also on per strand level. We have a wave that it will be and behave as a constant value. So let me just turn to zero the y axis. So this is a constant value that works on a wide axis and comprise, uh, com uh, compress, sorry, and compress based on an amount of iterations of the frequency that we can have zero, one, two, three, and this depends of the amount of curves or CBs and points that we have. You can see that each, each CB will define one point and there's just one point when it just stops and regenerates and the amplitude is going to generate the scale of that deformation so basically we have two directions the amplitude is going to be how frequent this deformation is so the frequency is going to be how frequent this deformation is and the amplitude is going to define how much it gets deformed over the curve and we have two directions, so we have x and we also have y, so we can have this effect too. And combined, they have a really nice wavy effect. It will be easier to see if we increase the guide amount. So let's go up and let's put maybe 40. So we will have a lot of CVs here. And you can see now how the effect is starting to take shape. I have a really high frequency here. So let's put some frequency there and some frequency here. And now you can see maybe a value like this. We have these kind of wavy curly things. And if we increase this value and increase this value, we will have nice curly effects. And that depends on the amount and the frequency. So this is basically the waves creates waves in x and y and we have an amplitude so we have frequency and amplitude in two coordinates that's basically how it is and this should be how it looks once you affect remember that the moment that you send change the segments of the guide process you will also change the segments that you have on your hair generate so it's going to be quite heavy at that point but you can see it there we have a ton of these little guys following the same shape. So thank you for following this tutorial and see you on the next one.